there are actually only three types of thinking. The first one is thinking that contains memory. It is not actually you are really thinking about one particular reference looking back at your life, but you are feeling low. You are, if you are feeling low right now, it is, it is not actually you are worried about the future. Something about actually when the reference in the past is attacking you right now and telling you something verbally or non-verbally that heard by you as you are incapable, that you are not good enough, that you are not able to produce. There is some voice or other. Whenever you are feeling low, it is not actually the question or the problem is you have a problem about the future. No, not the problem is not in the future. Whenever you are feeling low, something is tripping your mind. You actually tripping your mind is because it is telling you you are not capable, you are not good enough, you are screwed up, you are not able to create or produce. And not in the exactly the same words, but you hear it and you hear it actually through your cells in your body. You don't hear it through your mind, remember. When you hear it through the cells of the body, your heart begins to crumble. Your heart is actually how you feel. Your heart is not the center of your chest. Your heart are your emotional network that is currently running in a full ascent to wake you up and to take you into a great place. They get short-circuited and then you feel crumbling. There's one way you can feel it. And then you can be sure at that moment if you see yourself in the mirror, the person in the mirror is frowning at you one way or the other. That the first one is actually, that's one of the attacks that comes along. The second type of actually thinking is the only thinking that actually can come out of fascination. Then actually that means, the second type of thinking means, it doesn't matter whatever the heart is about, whatever that has gone wrong or right, you have found something out of recognition and acknowledgement that fascinated you. So you are in a state of fascination. It can be an idea, it can be a feeling, it can be anything. It can be hope even that fascinates you. When that is in fascination, you are ascending, you are in a vertical force. You are in a vertical force. You are in a vertical force, my friend. In spite of whatever that has gone, in the country, in the world, in your own personal life, you have found a moment and that moment has come about because you have realized this moment has nothing to do with any other moment in your life. And then actually recognition and acknowledgement opens you another curtain and said, Hey, look, who is here? What is here? And that you fascinates you. In that fascination, you are falling forward. And that is what is called clear thinking or smart thinking that can erupt any time. And the third type of thinking is a warrior thinking, is a thinking of a bodhisattva, which is called fearless thinking. Fearless thinking is actually one of the most outrageous thinking that can happen, that makes impossible possible, impossible possible. Fearless thinking in order to happen, you normally have the same energy that you experience when you are about to just make love to a man or a woman, the same emotional and the sexual energy that is running through your body. Here it is running through, not just to make love to a man or a woman, but to break a point of thing, something that has challenged your life, something that has challenged your existence, that has challenged your intelligence, that has challenged your heart and suddenly you are getting up. You are about to, willing to even, cross through this boundary even, willing to die. That's the heart of a bodhisattva. 
that is the heart of a great sacred warrior, that the sacred warrior rises and that say, I am never going down, I am coming in, I am going through this space. Those are the three finds of thinking that are there. Always remember, either we are in a state of anxiety that is not about the future, something in your past is bugging you and you are engaging with or without your knowledge. You are engaging only by one thing, remember. The only way you engage is by compensating, rationalizing, defending yourself. You are telling yourself a story. You are telling yourself, no, it's going to be okay, I'm going to be... And you know within your gut level you are not okay. Don't say you are going to be okay when you are not. You say, I am not okay, I am going to go through this. Now that is more powerful, my friends. Tell yourself, I am not okay, but I am going to go through this. Now that is more right. And that is a warriorship really there. Otherwise you are lying without your knowledge. And whenever you lie, the gravity actually laughs and brings you down. Gravity said, okay, what the hell are you talking? Come with me here. So you are with the gravity, then you go down. That is one of the ways, most of the time, without that your knowledge, you are, you are lying to yourself. You are lying by actually rationalizing, compensating for whatever that happened, and also arguing with yourself and justifying anything. Don't justify, don't rationalize, don't compensate for whatever that has happened. Acknowledge and accept and move forward, because life is moving forward. The whole, the force of the treadmill of the infinity is running forward is not running backwards, running forward. So go with it and you will find there are new horizons that will open. There are new horizons that will open. There are always new horizons waiting to open. You never lost too many chances. You are always new horizons. You lost your love, there are so many other loves waiting for you. There are You lost your possibility, there are so many possibilities waiting for you. There are lost your opportunity, there are so many opportunities waiting for you. You lost your energy, you can build your energy and come back. And that is how you do it. And that is the first one is actually, you have to acknowledge yourself. And don't tell yourself a story, don't lie to yourself. You are standing vertically. When you actually lie to yourself, you want to lie down and go down emotionally. And remember that one. And the second one is, the horizons are forever. Horizons never end. The possibilities and the opportunities that you have to have a great life is endless. What you have lost, what you have been missing, is not endless, is only limited. What you have, what the pains and the depression what you have lost is not an endless pain. It is actually limited thing that you have lost. What is available to you is unlimited. What is available to you right now is so many horizons. So you never go down. How much life you have, your life is never measured by the number of years. It's the amount of intimacy you can experience. Your whole life is from now on is available to you. It is not a time that can be measured in minutes or years. It is a time that is immeasurable of the intimacy you can experience in life, my friends. And the third one is the fearlessness. Live like actually a warrior. Live like actually not actually you are going to one day die in the future. Live like you have no past. Then you have no worries about the future. Then you will live this moment happily not ever after, happily, right now, and right now is the only intimacy you have. Thank you.